Well, here we are, riding the air highway. We've left Norseman and we're heading towards Baladonia today. It's um, Monday morning. We've got a big day today. We've got 190 something Ks, 192 I think in total. So we're gonna be out here for a while. We've covered 55 so far this morning, making very good time. The road's great, uh, conditions are perfect. There's a little wispy breeze from the rear that's pushing us along, the sun's shining as you can see. The road is in very good condition, it's quite smooth. Uh, you probably can't make it out, but there's a little speck in the distance ahead of me, that's Graham. He's um, riding off alone. We're all riding uh, by ourselves today for a little while, probably up until lunch. Um, Alan's behind me a little ways. So we're making our own way. And um, you can see the road is long and straight. And uh, it's perfect, absolutely ideal for cycling. It's a lovely day so far. And if, uh, if this is what the rest of this week's gonna be like, it's gonna be a joy. I suspect it won't be quite this easy all the time, but uh, it's certainly certainly pretty nice right now. Talk to you later. Okay, we've done 81 k's. We're still heading towards Baladonia. Uh, conditions are still perfect. Tailwind, smooth road. I've lost Graham, he's way off ahead of me. I have to stop and uh, get some cereal bars out of my backpack, which I've done. I've eaten those, I feel good. Uh, body overall is in great shape and uh, feels like it's pretty strong. So, uh, I'm glad to see this rest stops for the next 250 k's, that's helpful. Um, we're going to stop in about half an hour or so, a bit over for lunch and a rest, and then we will be approximately halfway for today. But we're making great time, and um, if these conditions prevail, I suspect we'll be in Baladonia by about 3.30, which would just be absolutely ideal, perfect. Anyway, I'll touch base later. Oh, I just thought you might like to see some more of this beautiful countryside as we roll through. Yeah, it was slick. It was really nice. Um, only 
one other res only one real hill. It must be like 100 k's. It was a uh, one kilometer hill. Just before, just before our lunch. Break. It was like we went down a big bowl and then just came up the other way. Yeah. Uh, but the drop out of lunch was really nice as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Two days right. And what time is it now? It is 4:30. How long have we been here? Uh, 6:30. Two hours. I, I pulled in. Uh, I pulled in at about ten past two. And what do we think of the Belladonia Roadhouse so far? <laughs> Alan, any comments? Yeah. Seven or six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. There's no large breast of long waitress. <laughs> she her shift starts later. Oh no. <laughs> <In bed. laughs> Yep, it's been a big day for us. Uh, Looks like the wind little, is. It was a little intimidating to start with because of the, the distance we had to cover, but the wind certainly made it easier. It looks like the wind is setting a little bit too, uh, which probably. Don't get camera shy now. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've said everything I needed to say. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, and um, talk to you later. Over and out. Well, here we are at the Balladonia campground. Uh, Balladonia is basically just a truck stop on the air highway, uh, about 100 kilometres out. Oh, sorry, about 190 kilometres out of Norseman, which is what we've travelled today. You can see the wind blowing through the trees. That wind was blowing us along all day today, and so we're very much hoping that it stays with us and continues to blow us all the way across to Sejuna, um, which is might be wishful thinking but we're off to a good start um, big day today but we're all feeling pretty good there's Tanya hi Tanya um, and here we are walking towards the campground um, Alan set up his tent over on the in the, a different part of the world we're not sure why but there you go uh, he wanted some privacy obviously um, and uh, here we have the bikes um, secured to a tree Hopefully they don't blow away. Here's my tent, sitting proud, and there's the crotch. Uh, and Graham filling up. Wow, that's a full bladder. Are you going to carry that tomorrow? It's today. Twice. Drank it all. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, so very sensible though, because um, the uh, the warm weather and strong wind um, is very dehydrating. So. But anyway, here we are. It's not really a, you know, it's not a delightful campground, but it's, I, I suppose it's a bush campground. This is what they're going to be like. So I better get used to it. Talk later. Morning, Graham. Here we are in uh, on the air highway. We've left Balladonia and we are on our way to Kaguna. What you can see behind me is the emergency landing strip. It's out here on the air highway just pulled over for a bit of a breather. We've been travelling for about 20 kilometres this morning. Alan's lost a spoke, a second spoke I should say. And so he has bailed for the day. So it's up to me and Graham today. We've got a, um, another pretty big one. It's a um, 182 I think it is. Or maybe, yeah, 186, something like that. Pretty manageable now. Just taking it easy. I wanna, I'm determined to stop and take photos and take videos and make sure I capture the whole thing so that I'm not just bummed down or bum up, tail, head down, riding all day as I have been for the past couple of days. Here comes a big truck. Might wait for him to get past before I continue with the ride. Um, but I'm just gonna, we're just gonna sort of do our own thing today, I think, and uh, enjoy ourselves. It's a beautiful day. We're expecting a strong wind in the afternoon. And, um, well, that will take advantage of that because that's just going to blow us home. So, big day, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'll check in later. Okay, so, we've just made the left turn onto the air highway. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the uh, longest stretch of straight road in the world. Uh, and the landscape has changed significantly in the last kilometre. As you can see, this is the land of no trees. For literally as far as the eye can see, it's pretty much 
low scrubby desert absolutely dead flat and this road is as you might expect extremely straight and uh, this should be interesting we've got very favorable conditions the weather is good the road is smooth and uh, that should be fun there's a car in the background giving us a decent berth there's Graham behind me somewhere hopefully and uh, now it's just to settle into a rhythm and enjoy the day because I think it's going to be like this for most of it but uh, one of the iconic stages of the uh, Nullarbor crossing is the long straight road and here we are we're doing well okay well I'm not sure how this photo is going to turn out because the sun's behind that sign but what it says is 90 miles straight Australia's longest straight road 146 kilometers so, uh, so I was a bit premature, literally just as soon as I stopped videotaping last time there was a bend in the road so that's a bit embarrassing, but here we are, 90 miles straight, here comes Graham, he's probably going to want to stop and take a bit of video or take a picture or something and I think that's probably a good thing to do. Uh, we've got a long way to go today, uh, 146 kilometers by the looks of it at least, so um, anyway here we are, one of the iconic spots on the trip. Well, I pulled over for a bit of a break. It's um, 10 to 12, and we're still on the longest road in the world, longest straight road in the world, as you can see over my shoulder. Goes a long way back that way, and then it goes a long way in that direction. I've done 30k since lunch and um, playing a few mind games with myself to try and keep my momentum up. The wind's blowing in a favourable direction, it's starting to pick up a little bit, which is great. That should just push us along straight towards Kaguna. Um, there's not that much of, of interest out here to really pay attention to. Um, there's not that many wildflowers, although there's some sprouting up, but there's little birds that are protecting their nests um, along the way. So maybe I'll see a few more of those. But uh, yeah, basically it's kind of mind-numbing a little bit. Um, it's very peaceful. The road's in good condition. The wind's pushing us along. We've got plenty of food and plenty of water and other juice and stuff. So we're okay. Um, Graham's back there somewhere. And um, Alan's back there a bit further still. Hopefully his bike is still working. He's Pardon me, he's got two broken spokes. So we'll see if he makes it. Well, we're coming to the end of a pretty long day in the saddle. I've got about a bit over 20 k's to go before I get to Kaguna. And we are still on the longest straight road in the world. And boy, that is true. I think I've changed gear about three times. Uh, very few hills, obviously no bends. And so it's really been a, a bit of a uh, exercise in meditation and self-entertainment. Um, I did that by singing to myself for about an hour. A little rock concert on the road, that was great. That got me through the post-lunch slump. Just had a snack and a rest stop at 150 k's, up to um, 164 now. And uh, here comes a big wide load. I think I'll put you away. Uh, both hands on the wheel. But I wanted to show you this countryside. It's absolutely beautiful.